Hi, my name is Justin aka Ghost Shooter, and today I am going to be doing the book Scavenger Hunt Tag, and I was tagging this by Adrian McDonald. I would like to thank him for uh, this, uh, for tagging me in this tag. And if you uh, have been on my Twitter page, and you may have seen this uh, tweet, uh, this tweet was because of, of this tag, and that's how I ended up going to the bookstore where the books were um, very, very reasonably priced. So uh, I, uh, the whole point of this tag was to go to a used bookstore or to a library and pick up books uh, that fit five categories, and I'm going to uh, basically show what books I picked up. So the first category uh, was a book that reminded you of childhood reading. And for that, I picked up Song of Wrath, The Peloponnesian War Begins by J.E. London. And you may be wondering, how does this in any way remind you of childhood reading? Well, when I uh, was in, when I was, in, I think the fourth grade or third grade, I actually, um, I went to a private, a Christian private school. I actually took home the history book that we were using for that year and I actually kept it and I read through the whole thing and answered the comprehension questions, I think, for most of the chapters. Um, at the end of most of the chapter. So this reminds me of my childhood because it reminds me of the history book that I um, read. And so basically this is a history of, I believe, the beginning of the Peloponnesian War, which was a war between uh, basically Athens and their allies and Spartan and their allies. So that's the book for the first uh, category. The second category is a book written by someone you've never read before. And for that, I have uh, The Furthest Home is an, Empire, is an Empire of Fire by John Philip Santos. And from what I've read of this book, uh, this author, John Philip Santos, basically chronicled in, in a book before this, uh, his father's uh, ancestry. So looking back at his father's ancestry, um, I think his father uh, was Mexican. And um, this one here, he chronicles uh, his mother's, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, I think this is his mother's family tree. Um, yep, this is his mother's family tree and how that goes back into Spain. And he chronicles him finding out about that in this book. So um, this sounded really interesting. So I'll be looking forward to reading this at some point uh, in the future. Now, the third category uh, for uh, this tag was a book in need of some love. And for that, I picked up uh, With All Our Strength, uh, The Revolutionary Association of the Women of Afghanistan. And basically, this looks by um, Anne E. Brosky. Brosky. And basically, this uh, looks at um, this women's organization in Afghanistan uh, before um, the invasion of the U.S. And basically, the work that they were doing there uh, with um, in, in the country before the U.S. came and a more light was shown on the plight of women in Afghanistan. And this book actually has like some water damage. Um, can't really see it, but it has water damage on the inside. So it's definitely needing some love and definitely a very interesting book. So... Um, my fourth uh, book that I, I've read is um, a story written, well, the first, fourth book that I picked up, not read, but picked up, uh, was a story written before you were born. And for that, I picked up 20,000 uh, Leads Under the Sea uh, by Jules Verne. And uh, I've never read this. I've seen it around. I've read some of Jules Verne. I, I read Around the World in 80 Days um, as, a, as a kid, but I never read 20,000 Leads Under the Sea. And so um, picking this up would definitely give me um, a chance to um, read, read, read this book. Um, actually, this was going to be my my choice for reminder for childhood reading, but all my other books, none of them were written before I was born, so this one had to substitute for that one. And last but not least, something that contains the first initial uh, anywhere in the title, and the first initial of my name is J. And it was very hard to find a book with J in the title, anywhere in the title. Um, but I did end up finding one book called um, Jewel by uh, Brett Lott. Uh, and this was at some point a book uh, that Oprah's book club read. Um, and so from what I've gotten from it is basically about a woman living uh, in the South. Um, it's 1943. She has a, a, a child, I think, which I don't think is her first child. Or is it their first child? Nope, this is actually their sixth child, and um, basically it is about uh, the relationship between her daughter, who's the newborn, and her moving forward. From what I've read, and it's about faith and family. So, 
Um, I have no idea how this book is going to be. Um, and so I'll be reading this at, at some point as well. Um, and so because the books were like 50 cent a piece, I also picked up another book. Um, I have it here. And the other book um, is called New York by Edward Rutherford, which is uh, who also wrote a book called London. So basically this book is basically about New York City. Um, starting out from when it was, uh, I believe, when it was first colonized by the Dutch, or at least, uh, if not by the Dutch, then at least starts out by around the Revolutionary War, all the way up to the present, um, and present being uh, the early 2000s. So, um, this book sounds really interesting, the cover is really nice, and so I will be getting to, to this at some point. So those are all the books that I picked up at that particular used bookstore. Um, a lot of people were like, how did you, um, how did you uh, control yourself with books only being 50 cents? And, um, well, I don't know. A, a lot of the books there, they had a lot of books there. A lot of the books interest me, but not inter didn't interest me enough to actually want to buy them. So, but, so yeah, all these books in this haul, you'll definitely see me read at some point uh, on this channel. So, I want to thank um, AJ McDonald for um, tagging me in this tag. It was a fun tag to do. It was fun to see, to see you guys' reaction to the, the prices at that thrift store. Um, I calculated how much I would have spent if I actually bought these books brand new, and it would have been $138 if I bought them all brand new at full price. And I only paid $3 for these books, so I saved $135. So definitely use your used bookstore um, if you can. And so um, I want to tag the Novel Sanctuary, Roxanne from the Novel Sanctuary, uh, to do this tag. And if you're watching this tag um, um, and you want to do it yourself, you can go right ahead and do it. Definitely check out the Novel Sanctuary channel. She just posted a video uh, talking about her most disappointing reads of 2018. And she's done other videos about her other reads uh, in 2018 recently. So definitely go check out her channel. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at GhostReads28. And also, uh, you can find what I'm reading uh, on Goodreads. The link to that is in the description box below. So as always, keep reading.